Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Virtual Boy games on your mini system. Just a quick recap on how to mod your mini in HackGCE. You want to go to the kernel tab and install repair. Click yes on the next window. Plug your mini system into your PC and then while holding reset, power on, HackG will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you're good to go. Our first step is to go to the modules tab and to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab and select the version of RetroArch that you want to use. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFT Cores tab, and scroll down till you get to the Nintendo systems. The one we're looking for is right here, Mednafin Virtual Boy. Highlight the core, and again, click Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to your Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Mednafin Virtual Boy and RetroArch, then click OK at the bottom. Once they're installed, you should get this done message. To add your games, just highlight them, drag them directly into Hackchi. Hackchi will automatically populate the box art, description, and command line for you. Last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button down at the bottom, or export to USB if you're using external storage. We're all set here, let's head over to the Genesis Mini and take a look. Let's take a look at Jack Brothers first, one of the rarest games on the Virtual Boy. And the game started up fine. Now, one of the first things you may want to do is change the color. The black and red is the standard Virtual Boy color, but it can really wear on your eyes. So to do that, we want to go to the RetroArch menu. You can hit the reset button on the Genesis menu to get there, or hit start and select on the SNES and NES Classic. Scroll down until you get to Options, and go to Palettes. You have different palettes to select from here. I prefer cyan or electric cyan. It's a little bit easier on the eyes. Go back and click resume. And you see the colors have been changed to something more bearable. If you haven't messed around with the Virtual Boy, you should definitely give it a look. It's got a couple really fun games on it. Now for Wario Land. Luckily, once you change the color for one game, RetroArc will save that setting and keep it for the other games. As you can see, the games don't run at full speed, but they are still completely playable. There's no graphical glitches or anything like that. And that's all there is to it. If you're having any problems with this, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. And that's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.